Welcome to the Movie Minute, everybody. This episode of the Movie Minute, we are talking about Joker Fuala Du, directed by Todd Phillips, starring Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga. So, if you're looking for a non spoiler review, let's jump on in. Just as a disclaimer, you have to have seen Joker to understand what's going on in Joker while I do. You're doing yourself a disservice if you haven't seen the first movie and you're watching this one. It's not absolutely 100% needed, but the film is much more understandable if you know what happened in the first one. The story of Joker Fall Ado, without any spoilers, is we're following Arthur Fleck, who's now serving time for the murders he committed in the first Joker. It's a couple years after all of these events, and so he's amid waiting for his trial. He's in talks with his lawyer. He's kind of in in certain forms of rehabilitation within the prison system. He's meeting people like Lee Quinzel, who's played by Lady Gaga. And so there's all of these mixes of reality and his own mind of what's going on in his head. And we are processing all of the events from the original Joker. It's really interesting because obviously this film is a musical, which we're going to talk about in a second. But I will say the film opens from a story standpoint in an intriguing space and i was absolutely intrigued as we went in so let's talk about a few of the things that i liked i'm going to give a huge shout out to todd phillips because this film first and foremost is truly incredibly directed i think that he had something in mind and he put it on the screen. This feels very unique and different. I think it's a different type of movie. I don't think we've seen a movie like this come out of Hollywood in a while. I just, there's unique voice there from the director doing something that we don't see done anymore. And, or aside from things like seeing some of these A24 films, like there's a uniqueness to this film that I appreciated. And overall as well, it's just a beautiful film. I think, I mean, shot wise as well, like cinematography is gorgeous. The music is incredible. The colors are amazing. The sequences are really well blocked and really well designed. That's all directing. And he directed something very, very good. The first 35 minutes of this film, I was completely sold out thinking, this film is amazing. The first act is very, very solid heading into the even the second act. The second thing that obviously is not hard to imagine is the performances truly are incredible. I just think, you know, Joaquin Phoenix, he just does something so amazing with every role that he's in, barring Napoleon. But I mean, he just so embodies this character, the nuance, the emotion, the sway of emotions in each scene, and just his, he throws himself completely into this role, and it's incredible. And then again, we know Lady Gaga is an amazing actress. I mean, she's been really good in most of the roles that she's been in, and she once again brings something really special to the screen for this. Her portrayal of Lee Quinzel, Harley Quinn, is very, very good. And so there's one thing that I didn't like about it, which I'll share in a second, but overall performances, very, very well done. The last thing that I really enjoyed was I like the themes that the movie is attempting to tackle. I like that Todd Phillips is tackling hard issues, things surrounding mental health, how we take care of people. Why do people do bad things? Like what leads them to do those things? I love all of that stuff. And I think that he brought a really unique take on that space to this film. As much as people are disagreeing with how good the film actually is, the themes of the film are very, very strong and they're presented well on screen through the story and through the rest of the elements of the film. <laughs> The musical aspect of the film was weird. It wasn't always bad. There were some moments in it that were very good. I think at the beginning of the film, it was kind of introduced as this really unique way to advance the story. But as it evolved later in the film, 
it really struggled. I think that the musical aspect just didn't do what it needed to do because ultimately in musicals, musicals, the musical numbers advance the narrative of the story. It helps us get to know the character more. It helps us understand the story better. There were moments like that in the film, but the majority of the musical moments as we moved further through the film, I felt like actually didn't advance the story very well or our understanding of the characters sometimes. And I think that it actually distracted from the overall narrative. And so I can see why audiences really struggled because when you're saying this piece of music that the characters are singing is going to tell us something important about the story and then it doesn't work, it really feels like it doesn't work. It really feels rough and like just kind of like it's the pacings off and a little bit boring at times. Also, another thing that I didn't like is the lack of Lee Quinzel throughout the film. I think her performance was so good and I wanted more of her. I think she brought something really unique to the picture, but she wasn't in it enough. We kind of moved away from her at certain points where I thought we should be leaning into her more. And so that just led to it being kind of a little bit of a muddled script throughout the movie. And that leads me to my final thing that I really didn't like. There are several other little things, but the big thing was that act three and the ending of the film just wasn't landed very well. And when a film ends in a way that you don't enjoy, it tends to highlight all the things that you didn't enjoy about the film. I think if the film had ended stronger, maybe people would have liked the film a lot better because there are a lot of things to like in this movie. This movie is getting absolutely lambasted in terms of Rotten Tomatoes scores. I mean, it's scoring lower than Morbius, which is an absolute joke. Morbius was terrible. Madam Web was terrible. I mean, from a film perspective, this isn't a terrible film. It's just a poorly executed film in terms of story beats and musical elements incorporated into the narrative. So there's flaws, but overall it's actually a beautiful film. It's like a beautiful failure. It's like so much of it is good and I connected with so many things, but so much of it then was so flawed and failed to reach its potential. I got the sweetness suspicion that we're not giving the people what they want. From an entertainment standpoint, I was thoroughly entertained throughout this whole film. I did care about the movie. I cared about what was gonna happen. I wanted to know where the story was going to take me. And so I give it probably a solid eight out of 10 for entertainment. I was entertained. Now, I like musicals. I grew up doing theater. I grew up doing musicals. And so there's musical elements that I enjoy no matter what. And so it probably boosted my entertainment score just a little bit. So many things on a critical analysis of this film shine, the cinematography, the directing, um, the performances, but then there's all these little flaws that just kind of nick at it. I'd probably give it a generous seven out of 10. I think I'm liking it more than others for sure. And so averaged out for me though, I think Joker is a seven and a half out of 10. I, I get that people didn't like it, but I think what bugs me most is I think people didn't like it mostly because it was a musical. And this thing has been advertised as being a musical for a long time. So people going into it being like, I didn't like the musical. It's like, okay, I, I mean, I get that, but we knew it was going to be that. So it kind of bugs me sometimes when people are like, I didn't know this was a musical and they give it a bad score. And it's like, you should have known. Now, I will place some blame on the marketing team. I just think they didn't incorporate very much of the singing musical aspect of the film in the trailers. And I think that they should have included a little bit more just to remind people, hey, you need to know what you're getting into. This is a musical. At the end of the day, Joker Fall Ado is truly a flawed creature. It's something that I enjoyed, but I understand why people didn't enjoy it as much. And I think from a badge standpoint, this is absolutely for me a couch potato. I think that you don't have to see this movie in theaters to fully appreciate it. It probably is done best while waiting for it to stream and catching it on streaming. If you like this video, hit that like button. Would love for you to subscribe. Join the Movie Minute channel with me in this community. And until next time, everybody, peace out.